Well, fans, the racing here in Montreal has been incredible, but right now we've got a special feature for you that is going to be one of the coolest things to hit TMB TV all year this year. That is the Monster Truck Backflip. 2009, year of Monster Truck Advancement, and one of the guys at the forefront of this, the Monster Truck Backflipping, Larry Quick with the Ghost Rider. Larry, you were the first one to pull off a backflip in front of a live audience. Tell us what that was like. Uh, an ultimate rush. Um you know, obviously the uh, the first attempt I ever did, I mean, I failed two hours later, I actually succeeded in it. So, you know, it's it's really been big for uh, me and Ghost Rider, so. Well, definitely, and it's a capper to what's been a huge year for you so far, because not only have you nailed the backflip a few times now, you've also, you're one of the, the, the most freestyle wins in all of monster trucks right now, right up there with Gravedigger, Bounty Hunter, you know, the only trucks in the top five or six of freestyle wins. Our name, Gravedigger, Bounty Hunter, but then right there in with them, the Ghost Rider. Um, really, it's been a tough year, but at the same time, it's been a phenomenal year. Um, pulling off the backflip uh, has really opened a lot, you know, a lot of new doors. Um, being an independent, you always run at your own level, and this year, you know, we just decided to step that up a little bit and, you know, and see really what an ind independent can do against, you know, all the big name trucks. And, um, you know, so we've been lucky so far. I mean, you know, we've had a pretty uh, fantastic year. Well, you can't ask for more than that. Now, talking about tonight, you've done the backflip a few times now, but never in front of an audience like this. So as much as a rush as it's been nailing it the few times you have, talk about what it's going to be like to do it in front of 40,000 people tonight. Well, I tell you, this is definitely going to be the biggest crowd. Um, I, I'm always nervous. Every time I, you know, I attempt this, I always call it an attempt because you don't know what's going to happen. I'm always nervous. Um, I've successfully landed. I, they say four. I, I actually say three just because one, I landed on my nose, so I call that a handspring, not a backflip. So, so I'll claim three. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I'm stoked with this, you know, large of a crowd, and you know, and, and a touch more nervous than I usually am. Well, that's to be expected. Now, you mentioned something there, and I want to ask you a little bit more about it. You're talking about handspring versus a backflip. We've seen a couple different drivers pull them off, but yours is really about the only one we've seen come all the way around and land on the tires. Uh, in, in my definition and opinion of the backflip, um, I believe you need to, you know, make a complete rotation and land on all four tires, or you know, the front just before the rear. But when you actually land on the front nose of your truck. You know, and then pull it out under power. Then I call that a glorified crash. Um, and, and I actually did one of those. And to this date, I mean, I don't claim that as a successful backflip. Now, as we talk about that, you know, technicality. Tell us about what goes in to really pulling one of these off. It's not just throwing some dirt out there and hitting it. Oh, not at all. Um, the backflip's got to be uh, set up at three different angles uh, for the way my truck is set up. Um, we come in actually two days early to an event and we take uh, one full 10 to 12 hour um, time period to actually uh, build and design the ramp. And you know, and then you know, and, and it comes with the runway um, from safety uh, to fire officials, paramedics. I mean, so really, um, you know, for being just a few seconds stunt, you know, there's a lot that goes into it. Well, fans, that's the insight, and you're going to see it here in just a few minutes. A backflip attempt here at Montreal Olympic Stadium, and Larry's going to be going after that big hill right behind us, and that's coming up right now on TMB TV. <laughs>
quick and Ghost Rider has nailed yet another backflip, this time in front of over 40,000 people. Larry, tell us what's going through your head right now. Well, I tell you what, uh, this is the biggest uh, crowd I've ever done it with. Um, so I tell you, I'm stoked. I'm fired up. There's some damage to the truck. We're going to take it to the pits and, uh, you know, maybe try for a double if we can get it fixed in time. Now, real quick, Larry, uh, you had a quick chance to survey. What are you looking at damage-wise? Um, as I can see, two shocks, a sway bar, and a four-link bar. I think that's it. Well, that's Larry Quick and Ghost Rider. He's got to get to work because he might try something else here tonight. Incredible backflip, perfect rotation, landed on all four tires. Larry Quick and the Ghost Rider has done it here in Canada. Well, fans, one of the biggest highlights we've ever seen here with Monster Spectacular in Montreal was a couple of years ago. Mike Vodders came up over the big van stack. He flipped it backwards, and it slid. And if you remember seeing the video on YouTube, it slid right into a parked van on the floor. And we've got here the owner of the parked van, and he's got pictures of his van from the accident as Vodders slid into it. And right behind us, we have the van that was hit. And as you can see here, have you done any repairs, any damage? Nothing. No damage during that. Wild moment. Here's the van right here. It's good to go. Crazy stuff in Montreal, and we've got lots of it coming up for you tonight.